am Annette Pasternak, the Stop Skin Picking Coach, and this, like all of my videos, is intended for your education. It's not medical advice. For that, you would need to see a medical doctor. However, if you do feel like you need some help, some coaching in stopping your repetitive behavior, like compulsive skin picking or similar behaviors, contact me on my website, stopskinpickingcoach.com. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already. So I wanted to make this video today because there's pretty big news this week in the world of hair pulling and skin picking. Okay, so you'll know there's not that much research on this compared to for like everything else. But a study just came out a few days ago testing the effects of a drug on hair pulling and skin picking and the results are good. So the drug is actually one that has been used for quite a while in Alzheimer's disease. So this drug, memantine, is a glutamate receptor antagonist. The glutamate pathway has been implicated in repetitive, compulsive, habitual motor behaviors. And so the hypothesis of this study was that memantine can help decrease behaviors like hair pulling and skin picking. So this might also be one of the reasons the supplement NAC is helpful, and I do have a video on that, so I'll link that. I'll put it in the description below the video. So this study included 100 participants who were hair pulling or skin picking for at least 15 minutes a day. There were 53 with trick or hair pulling disorder, 43 with skin picking disorder, and four that had both. So in the study, 55 of the participants took the menamentine, it's hard to say, and 45 took the placebo, so didn't have the drug, similar looking capsule or whatever with no drug. And this was also a double blind study, which means that the participants didn't know what they had Neither did anyone running the study or interacting with the participants. So there are different measures of the behavior and the effects of the behavior, you know, how, how bad are a person's symptoms and how they, you know, change. So these people met with a clinician once every two weeks and they were able to assess how is their behavior now in these different ways. So each, you know, at two weeks, at four weeks, at six weeks, at eight weeks. So what were the results? So in this figure of the paper, you can see one of the symptom severity scales. So they looked at a number of scales of how, how do you measure this, right? How do you measure how bad is the behavior or the effects? The group on the top is the placebo group. The group on the bottom is the memantine group. And you can see that the people taking the placebo overall did improve a little bit within the first couple of weeks and then, you know, it stayed about the same. And then the memantine group within a couple of weeks were significantly better than the placebo group and that continued. And so the memantine group is significantly better and the decrease in the behavior or the behavior symptoms looks to be about 60%. So the researchers count as a responder anyone who on these scales rates much or very much improved, okay? So much or very much improved is a responder and 60% of the memantine group were responders while only 8% of the placebo group were. So clearly uh, this thing is working for a number of people. A lot of people. Now what I thought was really interesting was like six people of the Mamatine group stopped the behavior completely within the eight weeks while only one person in the placebo group stopped completely. That's a pretty big deal. Now the researchers also took out a subgroup of the study of severely affected. So these are people that ha had worse hair pulling and skin picking than the rest of them. So they, the subgroup, um, you know, they had it defined in some way based on these scales. But interestingly, of the 18 people they pulled out from the 100, six of eight of them taking memantine, memantine, <laughs> I'm telling you this is hard to say, six of eight were much or very much improved. 
they responded, while zero of the 10 placebo group responded. I don't really understand how researchers evaluate something called effect sizes. There are these measures, Hedges G and Cohen's D. I didn't even look this up, but what was interesting is that they showed that the effect size of memantine was greater than that for behavioral studies, for the other drugs that have shown some effectiveness, NAC, olanzapine, and clomipramine. So this is very promising. Now, we don't know what happens beyond eight weeks. Does it get even better or does it stop working? I mean, we just don't know at this point. Uh, so that hopefully will be a subject of further research. Also, it will be interesting to see like what happens when people get both the pharmaceutical and some behavioral therapy. Okay, so what about side effects? This is always important. I'm usually scared to death of any side effects that might come with any drug I'd be taking. So side effects, two people taking the memantine dropped out because of dizziness. So they left the study because the side effect was too bad. Um, and hopefully that dizziness stops when they stop taking the drug. They didn't mention that, but I'm hoping it stopped for them. Some other people experience fatigue or GI issues. So like around 10%. They were around 10%. Interestingly, they were around 10% for the placebo too. Yeah, of course, this is just 100 people. And when you have more people taking drugs, other side effects show up. You can always look up side effects <laughs> from memantine. Memantine. So this is a promising drug. I mean, now you're aware of this. I'll put a link to the abstract in the... Um, the thingy, <laughs> the description below. Print it out if you want to, if you want to bring it to your doctor. Maybe you can try it if you, um, if it's gonna be appropriate for you. I think I might do a video on, you know, gonna research more about, like it's complicated with the neurotransmitters, but I know that definitely lifestyle stuff affects them too, so. If you'd be interested in hearing about, uh, you know, other ways to affect the glutamate in your body, like if you have too much in your brain, like what can you do to lessen them as far as diet and lifestyle stuff, tell me in the comments too. I think I very well might do that next. <laughs> so do you like hearing about research? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what else you want me to make videos about. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you again soon.